In this video, we want to use a bisection method to solve the equation x squared minus e to the negative x equals 3. So let's first define f of x to be the function x squared minus e to the negative x minus 3. And we're going to set this equal to 0. Because solving for 0 is the same thing as solving this equation above. So we're going to use a bisection method, which to start off, we want to pick uh, the x value where y is negative and where y is positive. So here when x is 1, we get a negative y value. When x is 2, we get a positive y value. So the bisection method says to consider the midpoint of those two values. So the midpoint of 1 and 2 is going to be 1.5. So let's plug in 1.5 to get negative 0 0.97. So note that so far what we have we said 1 was negative, 2 was positive, and we picked a midpoint at 1.5 that was also negative. So we know that the 0 is going to be between 1.5 and 2. So we pick the point in the middle, which will be 1.75. So if you plug in 1.75, you also get a negative value. So again, we just take the midpoint. So the midpoint between 1.75 and 2 will be 1.875 and that's going to be a positive value. So it doesn't make sense to consider 2 anymore. We want to consider the smallest interval where one is positive and the other one is negative. So that's going to be uh, 1.75 and 1.875. So you find the midpoint of that, which is 1.8125, and that's going to be positive. So we pick the midpoint between 1.75 and 1.8125, and that's going to be 1.78125. Notice that when I plug that into f of x, that's equal to 0 0.004, which is a very good approximation to the setting this equation equal to 0. In fact, if I were to plug in 1.78, I do get basically 0. And so this will be the answer rounded to three decimal places.